Wardrobe Gaps, part two of my series, Building a Wardrobe That You Love. As a part of this series, I wanted to make sure that I'm walking you ladies through every single step that you need to build the wardrobe you desire. And a part of that is filling in your wardrobe gap. What is a wardrobe gap? A wardrobe gap is items that are missing from your wardrobe that actually complete an outfit. So if you're missing these items, you're probably likely not wearing those pieces in your closet and missing out on a chance to look fabulous. If you are a girl who just shops solely trends, this is not the video for you. But if you are a girl who has clothes in her closet that she hasn't worn because she doesn't know how to style them or she doesn't have that extra piece to complete the outfit, this is the video for you. So in order to fill in your wardrobe gaps, you have to first know what's missing. So in this video, I'm gonna walk you through the steps that you need to do to identify your wardrobe gaps and when to fill them in. So first, we wanna always explore our closets. Exploring our closets is something that I think is not done often. I think a lot of us get too comfortable with thinking that we know what we have, but we forget what we have. So an example is having a closet full of clothes and putting something in and like pushing it in and stuffing your closet, risking something falling and forgetting that you have it. If your closet is deep and you have a ton of stuff on the floor, you are gonna risk the chance of something falling and forgetting that you have it. Explore your closet, pull out the things that you love, pull out the things that you've actually been wearing. You always wanna pull out the things that you currently wear. That's the things that you you gravitate to most. It can literally be a t-shirt. But if you think about it, most of the time, women do gravitate towards things that they already know how to style, as opposed to something that they don't know how to style. So the goal is to pull out the things that you currently wear, and let's start with that first. Also, you wanna pull out the things that make you feel good. So in part one, we did pull out things that we wore often and things that we wanted to wear. So I am almost 100% sure one of those items that you pulled out that you haven't styled yet is something that you actually feel good in but you don't really have that completed piece to wear the item. So when you're pulling out the things that you love, think about why do you love these pieces? Do you like the style of the piece? Do you like how it makes your skin pop? Does it make you look glowy? Always think about those things when you're pulling out clothes because that's also going to help you when you're adding in the last piece of this video to your closet. With that, you also want to make sure that you are thinking about styling this piece in multiple ways. You girls already know I am not the girl that's going to just keep buying stuff and I don't get my cost per wear. I am a firm believer of wearing things multiple ways and even multiple times, even if you wore it the same way. So getting your cost per wear is the number one thing that I'm always going to tell you guys and you guys already know quality over quantity. Think about how many ways you can actually wear this outfit or this item. Can you wear it dressed up to a party, to brunch? Can you wear it dressed down to a kid's soccer game, to just like a night out like on the town, just walking around? maybe to the mall, things like that. So you wanna make sure that you're grabbing these things and thinking about all the different places you can wear these items. Knowing the answers to these questions is gonna help you bring more of those pieces into your wardrobe. The reason why I'm saying bringing more of those pieces into your wardrobe is solely because when you're shopping, you wanna have clear intentions on what you're going to get. Ladies, I know the trends are there, I know the sales are there, but what happens when you don't have a clear goal and a strategy? You end up buying things that you really don't need. I'm not gonna get too teachy on you guys, but think about that when you're shopping. If you, when you do go shopping and you don't have like a plan, do you end up buying things that you don't need? Comment below if that sounds like you. <laughs> the second thing you want to do is to add on to the part where you're going to be pulling the pieces that you love these are the items that you have not worn yet and you do not know how to style. I have an outfit that I had for a long time. I know how to style it, I'm just missing a piece to the outfit. So that is a wardrobe gap that I actually have to fill. But in the process of me actually finding this piece, it's a pair of boots. I need to make sure that I'm gonna be able to wear these boots multiple ways as opposed to just one outfit. Not a good idea to buy something for an outfit and you never wear it again. You wanna get things that you can get your course per wear out of it and actually really love wearing. This is gonna be the first part of your wardrobe gap. Once you pull out these pieces that you absolutely love that you have not worn, 
you're going to then identify why you haven't worn them. Do you need a top for this item? Do you need a bottom? Do you need a belt? Is it accessories that's missing? Is it going to be uh, a jacket or something? All of those things are gaps that you want to fill in your wardrobe and add to these outfits to complete them. And again, you want to make sure that you're getting your full cost per wear out of these items. So when you're choosing these items, make sure you can wear them multiple ways and with many different pieces in your closet. Play dress up is like the best thing you could absolutely ever do in your closet. If you're a girl who loves to dress up and play dress up, this is the part for you. The reason why you always want to do something like this is so that you know how you look in the item and how you feel. It's also a good mental note for when you have like a last minute date, last minute brunch, you know exactly what you have. You can pull the item, get out going on time <laughs> and create that fabulous outfit. Get creative ladies. The goal is to make sure you're finding pieces that absolutely go well with your body and I've said this before I love trends they're really nice but every single trend is not fit for tall women and I came to the reality of that many many years ago so I don't get frustrated when I'm trying to shop I just buy things that work well with my body if it so happens to be something that's on trend that's great if it fits if it doesn't that's fine I can always work around that and use color as opposed to an actual silhouette when it comes to the trend. So this is when you're going to create the list. So get your pen and pad, write it in your phone, create the list of things that's missing. Whether that's a white button up shirt, a white t-shirt, a black tank top, whatever it is, you want to write these things down and create your list. I'm going to get into a separate list in this video. This list is going to complete the outfits that you currently have and the pieces that you currently have that you haven't worn. We'll get into the second list at the end of the video, but right now we're going to write down everything that we absolutely need to complete the current clothes in our wardrobe. If you stay this far into this video, make sure you are liking it and let's get on to the next part. The second part after we explore our wardrobe, we want to make sure our wardrobes are balanced with our lifestyles. So for the ladies who have children, if you're going to a soccer game, if you work majority of the time, which a lot of us do, if you're home watching TV a lot of the times, you want to make sure you have clothes for that. You want to balance the clothes in your wardrobe with your lifestyle. If you don't do that, you're going to have a hard time trying to find an outfit literally just to go to the mall or just to the grocery store. Because we already know what the wardrobe gaps are, we're going to be adding those pieces to complete the outfits that we have in our closet. Now, if you, at the end of all of this part, you realize you still don't have enough clothes to go to maybe the mall or just like to brunch, we'll get into that later on. But right, but right now, you want to make sure that you are able to fill in the wardrobe gaps for the items that you have and create complete outfits. So we already know what we need in our wardrobe as far as wardrobe gaps to complete the outfits and pieces that we currently have. Now we want to add in pieces that's our style, that's going to balance out with our lifestyle. Think about where you spend most of your time. If you're going to a kid's basketball game or a kid's soccer game, if you spend most of your time at home, if you spend most of your time at, in an office, those are the things that people do on a day-to-day, -day. well, normal people. So if you're a normal person with a normal life that works a nine to five, you're probably working from home or in an office. Maybe you're even on the field and you don't necessarily have to wear a uniform. So think about all of the places that you have to go that you need to get dressed for. So this is where this second list comes in. It could be an item from your wish list or it can be an item that you've just been eyeing and you haven't really jotted down or maybe something that you just saw. But this item and these pieces are going to add value to your wardrobe as opposed to subtracting from it. And what I mean by subtract is you're spending your money, okay, and you are not wearing the item. The goal is to wear every single piece in your closet. When it comes to wearing stuff for work, it's a little bit different because you do end up wearing those pieces a ton of ways, like a ton of times. But if you are a girl who does not work in an office, you're likely to wear most of your weekend wear, your leisure wear on the weekends or even during the week. So to recap the video, we're going to make sure we are exploring our closets, 
finding the things that we are missing. Okay? So we're gonna pull out the items in our closets that we absolutely love, that we have not styled, and we're gonna figure out how we're going to complete these outfits with our wardrobe gaps. Now with your wardrobe gap list, you can also start adding in little things like white t-shirts, white button-up shirts if you don't have it. It's just a really good way to have your essentials in your closet to make your closet more functional. If your closet is not functional, ladies, you are going to struggle to get dressed for the most simplest event. That was the first part. And then the other part, like I said, you're going to balance your wardrobe with your lifestyle. So explore your closet, fill in those wardrobe gaps, and balance the wardrobe with your lifestyle. It's simple. This is a really good way and a really good formula for you to create the wardrobe that you absolutely love, guys. So there you have it. This is part two of building the wardrobe that you love, filling in your wardrobe gaps, guys. So make sure you're following the steps in this video when you are filling in your wardrobe gaps and make sure you are tuning into video one purging your closet otherwise you will be lost in part two so i'm gonna link some of my blog posts for you ladies to take a look at i have a style blog and a lot of tips for you ladies if you don't want to watch an entire video definitely go up to the blog and take some notes guys also gonna link some of my style guides that are digital very very helpful you guys know i'm always gonna talk about shopping high and low the right way very very good document um you can definitely go through the document and pick out things that you are missing when you're shopping high low because it's not the easiest thing you don't want to really go out and just buy everything that's high end you want to have a mix of it in your closet if you like videos like this please comment below and if you stay to the end of this video please comment coco we see you and guys don't forget to follow me on instagram at coco styles nyc and Coco Styles NY and my personal style blog CocoStylesNYC.com and my style services CocoStylesNY.com and I'm on tickety tickety talk CocoStylesNYC and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye guys.